Hey, what's up, guys? Andrew from American Musical Supply here at Winter Nam 2020 on day three. I'm in the Gibson booth with Cesar, who's going to talk to us about an exciting new collection from Gibson USA, the Slash Collection. Yeah, well, we're very excited about this. You know, we've been working on it for, you know, about a year. I've been personally working on it with him. And, you know, Slash is such a sound perfectionist. You know, he's always in search of that unique sound that he brings to all of us. And so it was a big, uh, a big project, obviously. And uh, one in which he was so intimately involved with both the way the guitar looks, but also the way the guitars sound. And so, you know, onto the profile of the neck and the humbuckers, you know, recreating that, you know, his original sound through the slash, we call them the slash buckers, onto the tops, you know, he was obsessed with making sure the tops were perfectly looking and, a, you know, a representation of the way he likes the guitars. And so we've got the, in the electric offering, we've got the uh, Anaconda Vermilion Burst, then on to the really iconic Appetite Burst, and he was, you know, we, I must have gone through 10 to 15 different versions of tops with him, and then finally once we've narrowed it down, I had a full wall of different finishes, and you know, I brought him on to Nashville, and we, we were looking at them, and it was like looking at each one of them, we finally nailed it, but actually for each one of the different colors, and then those are the ones that we're replicating in the factory. And, uh, and then with the acoustics, you know, the acoustics, this is the first time we're doing uh, an acoustic guitar with him. And it's the J45 in both Vermilion and uh, the Tobacco Burst. Now, the Tobacco Burst, I, I told him, this is a, 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 maybe a little bit of a soundbite of the story, in, in, in talking to him about how we're going to name these, I said, hey, Slash, you know, what about November Burst? I started with Electric. Because, you know, that's that's the video. Right. Yeah, you're using that original guitar, the, the Joe Perry guitar, and it was the November Rain video, and he was like, I don't know, let me think about it. And then he came back and he said, I think that's a good idea. So, you know, the tobacco across both the electric and acoustic are called November Burst, uh, which is really cool. And in the acoustic, it has a very a, a bigger neck, more like the bigger neck profile that he likes. And then we built a replica of one of his originals, you know, that's how we started, which has a 12-inch radius fingerboard. Okay. And I said to him, we should, we should maybe try a 16. You know, because it's, you're, 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 the, you're the bender, you know, riff lord. And he said, well, I'm not sure about it. So I built it anyway. Yeah. And when we sent him the prototypes, we sent him the 12 and the 16. It was like, oh my God, I love it. So the fingerboards on the acoustic guitar have the 16 inch radio, wow. which is a little bit flatter. Uh -huh. And I think it's a more modern feel, really easy to play and really easy to bend. And then when we started working on the pickup, we started with the uh, LR Bax VTC. But then again, you know, in the in the in that search, in that journey for sound for him, we started tweaking it. So it's a it's a actual modified version of it that brings the output and the brightness and that original vintage sound out. So that's uh, that's something we're super excited. And then cosmetically, they all have the Scully signature drawing on the back of the headstock. They are both they all come with the uh, truss rod cover signature and then there's a blank truss rod cover in the case. I'm very, very excited about these. Uh, that's cool. That must have been quite an experience working with him on that. Yeah, it really was. I mean, he's such a wonderful individual. You know, not, not only he's the icon that he is, but he's such a wonderful individual that, and really cares. You know, he wants to make sure that all the fans, when they give these guitars, it's a real representation of what he's playing. He's playing them on stage. Right. You know, these guitars, both electric and acoustic, are on stage with him with guns. Wow, that's very cool. Well, thanks so much for the overview. And are these going to be uh, limited production quantities for 2020? So the November Burst and Appetite are going to be part of our core. Okay. The Anaconda and the Vermilion, we're launching them as a as a limited run. Okay. Uh, and the case with the acoustics, the Vermilion is a limited run. The November Burst is part of the core. Cool. All right, so you heard it right here. If you're interested in uh, finding out any more information about these Gibson USA slash collection models or any other Gibson guitar, you can visit AmericanMusical.com. Thank you, Cesar.